In this step, we're going to look at how we can use the foliage tool to populate all of our level with this nice, beautiful grass that we created previously. So we'll jump into that. Right, so what we need to do is open a brand new tool. In fact, what we'll do first of all is get rid of that grass there. Because we're going to be using the foliage tool to bring the new grass in. So this is the foliage tool. There's a lot going on. So it, it works a lot like some of the other tools we've used. You've got a brush size, which will be... Um, let's see if I can, maybe my brush size is too big to see. Oh no, it won't work yet because we've got no grass installed. But we've got a brush size um, and we set what we want it to be able to paint on, um, which we'll do in a sec. But what we need to do first, it says drop foliage here. We need to give it something to paint with. So we're going to use our grass clump that we've got. So I'm going to drop this into there and that's ready to go. Then what I want to do is tell it to only paint on the landscape. I don't want it to paint on static meshes. It would be weird if grass was growing on my rock or if it was growing on my hut, my, my cabin. So not on static meshes. And I don't want it to paint on BSP. There's no BSP in this level, but I still don't want it to paint on that anyway. So I'll turn that off. Then what I can do is um, set the paint density. So by default, yours will be set to 0 0.5, but I've upped mine to 1, which I would recommend that you do as well. And then what we can do is click on this. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room like that. And then we need to change some settings for this specific um, grass that we're using. So the density, I think I'm going to set to about 160 to get me started. Then what I'm going to do is change the scale. So what I can say, it, it will randomize the size of the grass to give it a, a more random look. So I'm going to say it can be from a minimum of 0 0.7 to a max of about 1.3 so that'll add some variation in size between all the different pieces of grass i'll leave the z offset as it is i don't want to align to normal because i kind of want the grass to always grow up so i'm going to leave that off and that will do for now i am going to come back in later and change some of these when we refine it but for now that's all I want this to be and now what I want to do is just zoom out get some height on this and I'm going to use my square brackets to just bring the brush size up so I don't want to overdo this really uh, but then what I can do is just click and drag and you'll see that that starts to paint in these grass meshes that we've created so at first it'll all look kind of grey and billboardy as it does at the moment but that's because it's just compiling the shaders when that's done your grass should just pop in as it's just done for me there so we can now paint in this grass so i do want it to be quite thick this grass and what i can do is as it gets towards the edge i can just turn the density down and and have less of it and where i need to as well i'll just bring the size of the brush down so that I'm not painting this grass anywhere I don't really want it. So just here, for instance, I want to just bring this down quite a lot at first. Let's just pull out a little bit more. A bit bigger brush now, and then we're going to come a bit further along where this path is, like so. Very nice. I'm going to bring the grass along here as well. Bigger brush. And then zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And what you need to do is just put the grass wherever you want it. So you can uh, experiment with the density of the grass. If you've got a better computer than me, chances are you've got a better computer than me, um, then you can probably go really dense with your grass if you want, if you really like that effect. But keep in mind that um, what grass does is it stacks opacity layers on top of each other um, or transparency rather and gpus don't really like having to work all of that out so now i'm going to change my paint density to 0 0.3 so just be careful about doing that don't overdo it and you'll be much happier so let's just get a few pieces in where I think they should be. So I'll have a bit of thinner grass going on up here. 
like that. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice. Oh, look at this. This all needs a bit of grass on it. Yeah. There we go. Just a little bit of the thinner grass up here. And just a little bit more up there, I think. Okay, so that's kind of added a F ton of grass to my scene. Whee! There we go. You can see it at the moment, it's not really blending in very well. But it is in there. So there are, it introduces some problems, but we'll fix it in the next step where we refine this grass. But for now, let's just hit play and just have a little look around at what we've got. So it's not great, this grass, but I already think it's quite nice. Uh, and because it's so dense and you can't really see the bottom where it lines up, it's pretty convincing. So it's like running through a field of barley and barefoot and just frolicking around, having a lovely time. It's also tanking my frame rate, which is something you need to be very, very aware of. But that's, that's pretty much the foliage tool. The only other thing I want to show you before we sign off, because you kind of do need to know this stuff, is that you can delete the grass that you put down. So as well as kind of painting with your, your brush, let's just um, size this down a little bit. So let's say somewhere where you've gone a bit too far, like I think I might have got a bit too close to the house here. You can hold shift on your keyboard and click and drag and that will remove those meshes. It might also leave in a little bit of ugly shadowing, but that'll be fixed later. Like that. So anywhere that you paint grass that you don't particularly like it. So again, up here, I've got some meshes that look a bit out of place. So I'll get rid of those. Anything that just doesn't look right, get rid of it. You don't need it. Right, I think that, that'll do it. That's pretty good for now. So I've just thrown this down very quickly so that we can get a video made. But you should spend a little bit more time on this. Try and make it look really cool. Um, and what we'll do in the next step is we'll spend a little of time working on the culling distance, turning the shadows off because they look a little bit awful. We're also going to um, use the tint to make the, the colour blend in a little bit better. So the next step's all about taking this grass that we've got and making it look sexier. So I'll see you in the next video for that. Thanks for watching. If you really want to take your learning further than I can cover in this series, then I highly recommend checking out Pluralsight. They have loads of really detailed video courses covering game art and game development using Unreal Engine 4. When I learned how to use Unreal a couple of years ago, this is where I went and I log in regularly to take a new course and improve my skills. I recommend checking out the Introduction to Unreal Engine 4 course by Joshua Kinney. This is really good and offers a good overview of what you can do in Unreal. You can get a free 10 day trial by using my link in the video description and you get full access to all of their courses for that time. At the end of your 10 days you can either subscribe for more or cancel, totally up to you. It's got to be worth a free trial though right? I'd like to say a massive thank you to my patrons. Your support helps me to keep making videos like this one and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It really blows my mind that people will support my channel and my work by pledging their money through Patreon. So again, thank you all so, so much. If you aren't already a patron and you'd like to offer your support, then please go to patreon.com forward slash Shane Whittington.